But uh, yeah, man, it was wild. And uh, everything shut down. It's crazy. I, can't, I still can't believe it happened. It felt like a movie. It is. Saying that, hey, yeah, 2020, it's... we did this. <laughs> we're we're sitting was... in the car Honestly, doing an interview. <laughs> Hi, my name is Fernando Rivero. Instagram is reps.guru. Facebook is Fernando Rivero. And uh, I have another Facebook page, business page called uh, Reps Guru. R E P S G U R U. Um, thank you, Ming, for having me on the podcast. I really appreciate it. Hello? Yo, it looks good. It looks good? Yeah. <laughs> good. Yo, good. Are those new glasses? These? I've had yeah. these for a little while. I've had them for like the last six months. Well, I haven't seen you for so long. Yeah, you haven't seen me in a minute. I know. It's, we were supposed, we were supposed hey, to meet up in March. Oh, yeah. For, for the UN day. <laughs> for the parties. And then they got the canceled. <laughs> I, I missed didn't even, the parties, I didn't, man. For the parties. And they got canceled. Oh, man. I was looking forward to it, bro. I was gonna call out of work and everything. This is, this is our yearly thing. Yeah, and now we had to miss it this year. No, I heard like everything was booked too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but then there was a whole no social gatherings right around the time, and then yeah. it was getting close, and I was like, Billy, we should probably cancel. And Billy was like, Oh yeah, well, I already canceled, bro. And I was like, Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's fine. He's fast. He's quick. Yeah, he's quick. He's quick. <laughs> Let me see. Um, closed and everything, not just the gyms being closed, but just like trying to be isolated and social distancing and everything. Yeah. And trying to still keep in touch with people. It's hard because like you walk by people and then they have masks on. So I have masks on. And some, people, some people don't care. Some people are yeah. like, ah, whatever, whatever happens. If I get it, I get it. Like, yeah. <laughs> but they don't think about the other people. I just try yeah. to be mindful of what I'm doing. Like I go outside to do cardio, so I'm always walking around. So, but my my area is kind of isolated. Right. Not many people are walking around. So. So do you right have now, a mask on while you exercise? Do I have a what? Do you have a mask on while you do your cardio? A max. A mask. A mask. Face yeah, mask. I have yeah. A, yeah, I have a face mask while I do cardio. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard and to breathe if, through. And oh. if I see somebody coming up ahead, I just go to the other side of the street. Yeah, that, that's or smart. Just, or just try to let them pass. Yeah, that's smart. It's not, yeah. So it's good but, to see um, you. Yeah, it's good to see you too, bro. I, know, I, look, I, look for, I was looking forward to it. I was like, yo, these two is going to be, it's going to be really fun. <laughs> and then, yeah, bro. I remember the gym started closing down and the mall was closing down. I was working at the mall and I was working at the gym at the same time. So yeah. both of them were in session and then all of a sudden they told me that the mall was closing and the gyms were closing. So then I had to figure out what I was gonna do for these next two months of quarantine because I didn't have weights really. I had some weights, I had some like old barbells, I had some old plates. I, I, I messed up, so I gotta start again. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, I was thinking how I could introduce you. All right, let me start again. Hey guys, this is Ming from Ming Fai Chan, and welcome to my channel. And today we have a special guest, Fernando. Um, thank you for coming on my channel, Fernando. Introduce yourself. We gotta do this in a Zoom, Zoom the kind of thing because of the coronavirus right now. <laughs> so go Hi, for my it. Introduce Fern yourself. Yeah, introduce yourself. My name is. Yeah, my name is Fernando Rivero. I'm a personal trainer. Been working out on and off since I was like 10 years old. And uh, I came from 240 pounds. I, my heaviest weight was 240 pounds. And right now I've been hanging around 170. Um, my fitness journey started a few years ago, about three years ago when I met Ming. Yeah. And uh, I've been consistent on the grind since. So what, what brings you into like, what interests you of getting, what makes you decide, hey, I'm gonna do fit, I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna look good, I'm gonna lose some weight, you know? What inspire you to do that? I've always been fit. Right. Uh, and I've always been active. So me going into adulthood was a big, uh, big life change um, because of the fact that I was always on the go. I was always yeah. doing multiple jobs, going from one job to the other, getting home late at night, 
and then going to the whole out card or checkers or checkers drive through or the checkers drive through just so that you could just so you could get that meal right before you knock out, right? Yeah. And that's horrible. And then, you, <laughs> and then you go home and then you're like and then you feel the the gas and the regret <laughs> the next day. And then you're like, oh man. There's the 15 pounds that I was missing. <laughs> from, all, from all those nights that you ate fast food. But yeah, for me, it was like, I was getting to a point where I got to 240 pounds and going up the stairs was hard. Even going up the stairs, I remember feeling my heartbeat and I was like out of breath. And I was like, dude, I've never had this in my life where I'm going up the stairs and I'm feeling like I'm, I'm gassed, like I ran a mile. Yeah. And, uh, I was, I had to come to a realization. I was like, it's either my health is going to go or I, there's really no other option for me. I have to, I have to take my health seriously. Otherwise I'm just going to end up dying at like 25, which is the age I was, the age I am now. I remember a few years back, I was looking back and I was like, I mean, looking forward. I was like, what are the next few years going to look like if I keep eating like this and I keep doing this to myself? Yeah. So it was that. And also um, career wise, things weren't working out for me. I didn't like where I was. I was working. When I met you, I think I was working with Billy at the kiosk selling yeah. cell phone accessories. And I think you were at the airport and driving around. Yeah, I was at the airport and driving around. So I had a couple jobs, but those jobs never gave me any fulfillment. I never, I never liked going to the jobs. I was always miserable, and usually, I just ended up, ended up eating like my miserable, my misery away. So you know were you I mean? having like pints of ice cream? <laughs> Yo, bro, I have a picture actually when I started my transformation of me eating a big, a big Greek yogurt container, and it like made into a meme. I just never posted it because I was embarrassed about it. <laughs> can we, can we post it now? <laughs> post it right here. <laughs> I feel like I should. I feel like I should send it to you. You'd I'll laugh. You'd laugh YouTube. so much. I'll post you'd it on it. YouTube. You'd see it and you'd be like, "No way, that's not Fernando, bro. No." Seriously? Oh, no, <laughs> seriously. I'm. I'm glad that you made a change three years ago. You know. Yeah, man. I am too. I feel better. I so, love, well, how I do love... you? You taught. You taught yourself. You got yourself a trainer. Or you taught yourself. See, it's. I learned from a lot of different people with right. fitness. Fitness is so like open and you could you could find a way to get in shape in, in any different in a bunch of different types of training methods. Right. You could decide to go into MMA and get in shape. You could decide to just go into cycling and just just ride your bike around and get in shape like that. Right. Me, I always liked I always liked bodybuilding and powerlifting. Right. Um, when I was ten years old, my dad started me he started waking me up at five AM, six AM in the morning mm -hmm. to work out. He would wake me up at that time at 10 years old to work out, do push-ups, sit-ups, run around the block, jumping jacks, do all of it. My dad, my stepdad, he was a he was a very active guy. He used to play baseball in high school, and he was always he was always jacked. My whole life, right. he's always been jacked. So he kind of motivated me get, to get into sports and getting into working out. Then around 14, I started lifting weights. He gave me like my first pair of good good dumbbells that I still yeah. have to this day. I have these old pair of 10 pound dumbbells that are all rusted up. I think there's like a little point in it that like pricks your finger, but I don't care. I just use them. I've been used to them for like the last 10 years or so. So, and they still work. I still use them. It's still but 10 pounds. <laughs> still, still 10 pounds, right? Yeah. But yeah, then 14 to 17, I was just trying to put on weight because I was playing football in high school. I used to, I used to, uh, I used to love football. My whole, my whole upbringing was based around the fact that I wanted to go into the NFL when I was a kid. And my stepdad kind of programmed me into working out hard and kind of pushing me mentally. Mm -hmm. But me, I was so focused on gaining weight. I had bigorexia. I don't know if you know what that means. Can you tell us what it is? Big, bigorexia pretty much is saying that, like, you look at yourself in the mirror, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody has a different 
different outlook of what they look like. Mm -hmm. Everybody thinks either they're too big, too small, too, too, their biceps too small. When you get into bodybuilding, you start getting into like the, the nitty and gritty of it. It's very, it's very draining because you could always, you can always improve a certain body part. Nobody's right. ever gonna be a hundred percent Unless you're like freaking genetic freak on the bodybuilding stage on, and you're an IFBB pro, you're mm -hmm. not gonna be freaking Lou Ferrigno or Arnold, you know? So right. me, I always felt like I was too small, but it was also the fact that I was also only like, I'm also only like five, seven. So there's only right. so much I can fill out for my height, yeah. you know? So bigorexia, pretty much, I always saw myself as being too small. My whole life, my whole life, I used to see my muscles, and I'd think I was small. Even though, in ev in every stage of my life, pretty much, people would look at me and they'd be like, "Yeah, that guy works out." They'd look at me all the time. Yeah, that guy works out. That guy's pretty big. It's pretty muscular. Yeah. But like, I always, I always saw myself as small. So I just kept trying to put down the calories and trying to gain weight. And then I got myself up in high school. I remember my heaviest weight was like around 220. And then um, midway into my high school career, almost towards the end, my parents got into a divorce. I got a little depressed. I got really heavy and then I had to lose the weight. And then um, I dropped down to like 185, 190-ish. Uh -huh. Looking decent, not great. I looked decent, I didn't have abs or anything. But uh, that was like the first weight loss journey I went through. Buddy Dom, he used to pick, so we used to walk from school, right? Twin Park. It's yeah. not open anymore. It closed down like, I want to say like five years ago or something Where is like that located? That, and they got new owners. It's now, it's in Fresh Meadows. Okay. And uh, now it's Push Fitness. You know Push? I know Push. Yeah, now it's a push fitness, but before it was is like- Is that the gym, is that the, is that the gym you work out with, at right now? No. Where do you work no, right no. now? Right now, right now because of quarantine, I'm working, right now because of quarantine, I'm working out at my house. Right. Um, I'm, no, but before I have quarantine. weights, I have weights and everything. Before quarantine, I was working out at Retro, Retro right. Fitness in Hempstead. And I was also working out at 24 Hour Fitness because I had a membership over there. Me and my buddy loved it. We used to work out over there. Right. So, but then, um, so at Twin Park, my buddy Dom he used to have me walk with him from school to the gym. The gym wasn't that far. It was probably like a 30 minute walk or something like that. And um, we used to work out every day after school. And it was, it was one of the best, one of the like purest times of my life. Cause I, I like, I would go to school, I'd have fun at school and then I'd school and then we'd go to the gym and work out. It was a really easy and simple time. I remember my dad, my friend one day freaking uh, ended up buying me like Chinese or something. Yeah. And I was like so happy cause it was like the first time a kid my age was like going to buy me food. I was like, what is this? Why is he buying me food? What the hell? Yeah, why is he buying you food? Did you buy now? <laughs> <laughs> he really, he really was good. He he had a good family and he had good morals. He was a good, right. he was a good guy. So it's hard to find. I mean, he didn't like always, that. he didn't always make the best choices, but nobody makes the right choices, right? Yeah, you're right. That's always that's always subjective. Yeah. So wait, after yeah, quarantine, you could that was like after quarantine, my... you could, you're gonna get back to retro and 24, right? Well, I'm starting to, I'm, I'm debating on what I'm going to do, honestly. Because there's a whole story of what happened when quarantine hit that I'll get into after, after I, with the, with the finish journey. Then we could go right. back into, uh, oh, what happened during and after coronavirus. Because that's a good story. In my opinion, that's a good story. That is a good story. But, um, I like this. That's so why I want to. I, I want to capture. I ended up, I capture as much as possible at this time. Because <laughs> it's something to look back on. You know what I'm saying? 
it's history. It is. It is. It was a. It was a big leap for me. Um, but. But so, you're still motivated, though. You you told me that you're doing cardio. Yeah, I'm still doing everything, bro. Honestly, not much has changed except for the fact that I don't really have like a cardio machine or like machines exactly like to use in a gym. But I have weights. I have a barbell. I have resistance bands that I use like crazy. I love the resistance bands. A lot of people downplay the resistance bands because, like the the typical gym bros, they look at the resistance bands and they're like, "Oh, that's for that's for whatever." They they look at it, they look yeah. down on it. Yeah. But the resistance bands they help out a lot. A lot of people will be surprised what they can achieve just with the resistance. They help shape. That you. was one thing I learned. They help shape you. Recently. I mean, I use them. I like them. It helps shape. It helps, yeah, it helps shape the muscles. It also can help you to get a better burn than, than weights and also less joint damage at the same time. So it's like, why would you not ut- utilize this? You could even add it onto weights and make it improve your form. Like you can add, you can add a resistance band to a barbell. If you're not good at, uh, at like benching, you can always just lighten up the weight a little bit, add a little bit of resistance band. It'll kind of get you into that movement pattern of, oh, this is how it's supposed to feel. This is how I'm supposed to work out. Yeah. That's why I like to use the resistance bands because a lot of people don't know how to use the muscles. And then they just start to, they just try to get into it right away without warming their body up properly. So what can you tell those that are at home right now that doesn't have any of these equipment? Can it, what can they do? Did I lost you? Um, we were talking. I was like, what, what, what if, what if they don't have the equipment to do the exercise? If they, if they don't have. If they don't have the equipment to do the exercise, I would tell them that right now, hold on, we got some technical difficulties. Weights are ridiculous to get. You go to Dick's Sporting Goods, on they all sell, right? And you can find deals like your best been waiting for it to, I mean, are you still there? I'm still here. Can you hear me? Can you yeah, re- I can. See. Can you repeat, repeat what we were saying? I was like, the last thing I heard was getting equipped. I mean, the last question I asked was, uh, what if they don't have the equipment at home? They don't have the equipment at home. Most people, they don't know how to move with their own bodies. So one thing I would tell them is to just start with walks. Um, I've, I've been training with my buddy Trevor now during this quarantine because mm-hmm. uh, he's trying to lose weight. I'm trying to stay in shape, so I have to do a lot of cardio anyways just to keep right. myself in shape. But um, we go on walks all the time outside, and we'll go we'll go for like 30-minute walks at a time. Sometimes we'll do one or two, two walks. Mm-hmm. Depends on the day. Some days, if we didn't work out that day, we'll just, work, we'll just walk for like an hour and a half to two hours. Mm-hmm. It just depends. Mm-hmm. Also, we have all the all the free time in the world now because of quarantine. Unless you're an essential, if you're an essential worker, I appreciate everything you do and the risks that you all take. Yes. Because I you. was I was working I was working in GNC and while this was starting to go down, and I was getting stressed for myself. Yeah. I was. They was they started implementing the wipe down the counters and the whole yeah. thing, and I was I started bringing gloves into work. I was scared, man. My you brother has an autoimmune disorder. My brother has an honor. My, my brother's had JRA since he was like nine years old. If my brother catches that thing, he's dead. Like, right. So it's one of those things where you got to be more mindful about who's around you and who because you affect. People are not taking as, you know, people were making memes out of it. You know what I'm saying? People weren't taking it as seriously as they should. There's, I, everybody copes in a different way. So like the memes help to kind of relieve people of the fact that they're feeling this way. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a different defense mechanism. Some people just cry it out. Some people laugh it off. It, it depends on the person, man. Not everybody's, 
not everybody's wired the same way. Everybody's went through different different things, you know. Yeah, a hundred percent. But I but I totally agree, I I totally agree that sometimes it's a little it's a little too much when you're on social media because you see so many memes and so many so many like different impressions because of the fact that people don't think before they post. Some I have some guys that they just post and don't think, and I'm just like. I, I try to be mindful when I post. I usually, I have different modes when I'm posting. I have motivational, I have funny, I have goofy. Like I have like a few different personalities that I put out there for what I want to show the world. Yeah. Some people don't care about what the way the world sees them. Yeah. So they'll just point post mindfully just because they want to get the laugh. Yeah. You know. I see that. So how long, like speaking of cardio, how long of car, how much cardio do you do? Like you, you told you told me we had a chat a couple of days ago. You said that you do, um, you run. You do every, you run every, like four, four, every, four hours of five days. I mean, four hours of seven days, at least. Honestly, I try to do cardio every day because mm. uh, I think we all need it. It's a good therapy. It's also. Um, it's also really good for metabolism and kind of getting your metabolism moving because mm-hmm. that's the biggest thing with people when they're trying to start a weight loss journey is that they can't they can't even like I'll put them on a cardio machine right I'll put them on the little on level one the easiest level and a person breathing it could, it could be a few different issues of why the person can't go for 30 minutes straight it could be breathing it just could be just health problems it could be their heart's bad like there could be many different reasons of why they can't complete the cardio Mm -hmm. so you got to kind of like just work your way up my cardio program isn't going to work for everybody else just because i do seven days i do seven days because i like being lean i used to be i used to be fat and i used to be out of shape I like being lean and I like being functional. Mm-hmm. So that's why I like to stay lean pretty much year round. Mm-hmm. So now, now you but you want to you want to keep this weight or you want to gain a little bit more back, like like muscle. I put on most of them after this. Is like, what? I say, do you want to keep on the on this weight right now, one seventy, or you want to gain a little bit more muscle? If I put it on any muscle, I would probably want it to be on my upper body because my my legs are huge. Right. I don't know. If, I don't know if you've seen. I got. I got big. I'm gonna. Legs, I'm gonna but... I'll post some pictures. I'll screen. <laughs> but but like so for me, anything I would want to put on would be on the upper body. But I already look kind of top heavy. Right. So honestly, it depends. I, I still work out just because I love it. So it's kind of like any any extra muscle I put on is just going to be a bonus for me. Because right. I more or less have the look that I want. Yeah. It looks good. I saw some pictures. I'm going to post some too. <laughs> like right now, I'm trying to get a little, I'm trying to get a little leaner. I'm trying to see if I can get into single digits. But right. other than that, I'm pretty happy with the way my physique looks. Right. So what would, be, uh, what would your typical workout be? If you can tell us, I can't. I can't give you the typical workout. <laughs> it's kind of like your, your typical workout. So it changes. Every every workout is different, man. Right. Every workout's different. I work out with different people. Right. My so are you Trevor are you is, are you working with people right now during this quarantine? I work out with my buddy Trevor. Not. I've been. I've been hitting people up. If I see people are working out on my Instagram or on my Facebook that they're like I used to talk to, right. I'll kind of reach out, ask them how they're doing, ask them how their workout program is going. Mm-hmm. But right now I'm mostly training myself and my buddy Trevor. He right. uh, He's lost in this quarantine about close to 20 pounds in about two months. Right. And he's feeling, he's feeling amazing. Every time, every time, every day, Every single day he wakes up and he's like, dude, I noticed a new muscle. Or like, he's like, yeah. yo, man, I feel great, man. Yeah. I feel 
awesome. He's just like so. We should, happy we should, we should bring him. We should bring him on next time. <laughs> next time. We... Yeah, I'm down to. I'm down to bring him on. Yeah. He's a he's an entertaining character. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Other than that, I mean, his family also. So I live in a I live in a family house with him. Yeah. And um, even his cousins and his his uh, his whole family wants to get in shape now. I got like his cousin counting calories. Hey, this is how, <laughs> how you're supposed to do it. Wait, so and when was, you count when you count calories, how do you calculate it? Like, do you have do you actually like? Um, how do you measure? How do you like? Uh, you need you need you use the uh, application like MyFitnessPal. Um, you weigh out. You gotta try to weigh out your food. Either you weigh it out or you gotta measure it out. Um, weight. If you weigh it out, it's more accurate than if you measure it out. Um, but me, I've been counting calories for the past three years. So for me, it's not even a big deal. I can count calories in my head, more or less, and figure out how many calories I need and how much is in the in the meal that I'm eating. Right. Just because I've been doing it so long. But the counting calories part is a hard. It's the hardest thing for people because mm-hmm. you could wipe out your calories all in one meal if you wanted to. You could have that one binge that just destroys you, That's and true. then you're like, "Oh crap! Now I'm stuck to protein shakes and veggies, yeah. or chicken breast and veggies the rest of the day." Yeah. And then you're all yeah. you're all upset at yourself, and you you're feeling bad and guilty. You're like. Oh man, why did I do that? Why did I go to that barbecue? Or why did I go to that party? Yeah. So let me ask you: Do you do you eat any sweets at all? Oh dude, oh. I'm a carb monster. I'm a carb fiend. I think I eat more carbs now than when I was fat. <laughs> <laughs> but I I have enough muscle to where I can like, and I Even work out enough. I work out enough to where I burn it all off. Right. A lot of people just take in the calories and then they don't use them, right. and then that's where this fat storage goes in. It's a calorie game. It's calories in versus calories out. Right. So, are you taking any clients right now? Are you taking anybody? I want to do online coaching. Um, do it. I've been I think offering... this is the best. This is the best time. Yeah, I've I feel been like this is online... like that's why I like to hit up people because now is the best time to rebuild your brand. So it's like yeah. it's just like doing this stuff and like you know redoing your Instagram, reposting like the the, the pictures you sent me were great. And you should post all of them. Yeah, I'm gonna post them soon. I just yeah. gotta figure out. I gotta figure out a good caption. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know me and my captions. Yeah. So those are really good. They're so let good. me ask you. Yeah. Is there anybody that inspires you that you know? Besides- Dude, I get it. I get inspiration from so many different things, man. I can get inspiration from, okay, it depends what time of my life I'm in, honestly, yeah. but everybody has a different, hi. No problem. Yeah, I'll move the Honda. Just give me a second. Can you pause this? No, you quick? can move, you can move, I don't. Okay. Just stay on. All right, thanks. Hey, welcome back. So I was saying, if there's anybody that you inspired you, I think that's what the that's the last thing we talked about. Yeah, it depends, bro. I get inspiration from so many different sources. Yeah. I can get more. I can get motivation from my buddy Trevor telling me he lost two pounds. I yeah. can get motivation from somebody just telling me they feel better. I can get motivation from seeing a guy on Instagram that told me they lost ten pounds. Or I could get in, in, uh, inspiration from just a simple post about motivation. It, it, it depends. Yeah. Everybody draws motivation from different sources. Um, the whole thing is that people get little sparks of motivation and don't do anything about it. Mm-hmm. Like that's why they need. That's why that, they. That's why they need someone like you to push them. Yeah. True. <laughs> There's always that little voice in your head that's like, dude, I'm really messing up right now. How am I gonna fix this? Yeah. And then there's no solution. It's kind of like they just kind of they avoid the problem, and then it becomes a bigger problem than than it started out to be. 
hundred percent. But right. um, so, be, so this is where the section of, of um, well, I'm gonna finalize our interview because it's getting pretty long. We want to keep it short. Um, <laughs> I usually go on my on your on your Instagram on people's Instagram and find three pictures. Oh. And you can talk oh, about it. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Hold on. Let me look it up. Game bag signal over here. You gonna put them on the screen? You want me to put it on the screen? I won't put it on the screen. I, well, I'm gonna screen, screenshot which, it. Oh, you're gonna screenshot it. Okay. Yeah. All right. I mean, I don't do that, but I mean, I don't used to do that, but now I put it on the screen. Okay. So you're gonna show me which ones are your favorite, huh? Yeah. I'm curious which ones are your favorite. Because you're a photographer. There's a story behind every picture. Hold on, I'm not even getting a signal right now. Hold on. <laughs> How are we doing this if you're not getting signal? How are we doing this? <laughs> My phone is not getting signal. <laughs> <laughs> it's not connecting to your thing. I like it. I really like this. This is how you look like. Oh, man. This, what, what was what? this? Graduation? That was my high school graduation, man. High school, that, this is him. 270 over here? That was 240. 240, wow. Around, I was, no, that, that one I think I was close, 220, 230. Yeah. My heaviest weight was 240, though. That was about, uh, wow, I'm so old. That was like seven years ago, bro, when I graduated high school. I'm 25, I was 18, yeah. Okay, so this one, let's talk about this one. This one is your one year transfer, transformation. Last year I was not in quarantine. Mm-hmm. I like this one. Oh yeah, that is a good one. Progress. That is a good one. I really like that one. Yeah, the right picture was in my buddy's home gym. And oh yeah, this is Trevor. Then he, he took the picture. Yeah, you. he took the picture. Yeah, he took like, some I like this. Pictures. I like. I like this. I like this. This is great. Thank you, oh, man. I when we work that. out, we'll get more pictures. I'll take some pictures. <laughs> Yo, man. Anytime you're ready, bro. Yeah. I'm waiting on you. Yeah, I know. I have Tell to get me you to want... you. I, I, I did. I did. <laughs> Tell them the story. <laughs> Tell them the story. <laughs> Which story? <laughs> the story that I said, "Oh, let's work out," and we never did. Oh yeah, man. That that happened to that happened to me with a lot of people. A lot of people tell me, "Oh yeah, let let me work out with you one day," and then it never. I never get hit up about it again. <laughs> we got busy. Life got busy. You know. Yeah, that's a good excuse. It's all right. You don't it have is. to tell me you didn't want to work out with me. It is. I to, do want to work out. So I don't have to be your little. Pit. I don't have to be your little girl that you throw to the side. Okay. <laughs> that's why we have you. You got motivate us. You know, let's go. Get your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll let you know something. I did. I did lose weight from like March to April because again, it was like pretty crazy this whole Corona thing. But yeah. I'm doing better now. I'm eating. You know, everything's back to normal. I was also so media. You've yesterday. also been. You've also been pretty skinny most of your life, from what here, I see. here here and there. Yeah. But yeah, I, I I don't usually see I'm you put on more than maybe like 20 pounds. You know what it is? It's like yeah. I'm active. That's why I'm always running around. So. It's good. Yeah, if, if I was sitting on the desk all day, I, I know I'm gonna be fat. So it's good to For keep. Sure. To, it's good to be active. <laughs> yeah, man. What's all your right, workout? So, what's your workout routine these days? What's my? What, what, is, is it the same thing. It depends on the day. <laughs> sometimes I'm just doing nothing, and sometimes I really do work out. I don't do much cardio though. I should do more cardio. I do use resistance brand bands though. Do some push The cardio too. helps out a big. It helps. it helps you to pace yourself throughout the workout. Yeah, I started doing you planks. Have... Like I like I like I got I got a lot of people that does yoga, so they keep telling me to do planks. So that shit is hard. Like it's not easy. Like it's strength. It's strengthening yeah, like a whole whole body. Seriously, like I've been trying to do one minute sessions each. You know, like yeah, I'm doing a, things. A lot of people. A lot of people neglect their core and cardio. When yeah. that was the thing that was the biggest I have to get uh, back plateau to breaker for me. Yeah. When least. I was going to the gym, yeah. I used to go on a treadmill here and there, but I am not going to the gym. I haven't been to the gym since last year. So. The planks are great, man. I like them. They help out. They help you a lot with bracing and the kind of like if you're gonna go down for like a big lift or you're gonna go for like a power lift. It exactly. helps you out with stabilizing your core. You have no idea. Like, also, I have no idea. Like, I was like, oh, that looks easy. But once you start doing it, oh, my God, it burns. Yeah, it kills. It kills, yeah. man. I did abs yesterday with a girl, and 
my abs are dead. My abs yeah. are dead today. Yeah, I feel you. So where can they I find can't... you? So they could follow follow you, and then they could follow your journey, follow your fitness journey, and when 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 could they hit you up if they need any fitness training? You can hit me up on my Facebook, my Instagram. Let them know what it is. Um, I'm working on my website. My Facebook is Fernando Rivero or Reps Guru. Mm-hmm. And uh, my Instagram is Reps, R-E-P-S dot Guru. Mm-hmm. Um, I post on there often. So just yeah. hit me up with a question, whether it's nutrition, working out, cardio, whatever. Just hit me up. I'm going to hit you up with nutrition questions because I eat anything. So that's not good. <laughs> Especially quarantine, like there's really nothing that you could really, you can't go out and buy you, fresh you, stuff. You know what I'm saying? You have you to go to a grocery, you go to a grocery store, to, and then you got to pick up what you need, and that's it. Yeah, it depends where you go, man. Honestly, because like, oh, do you make one last question? Do you make do you make protein? Do you make shakes as well? Oh yeah, I love. Pro- yeah. I like protein shakes. Yeah. I have to. Yeah. I either have protein shakes or I make like a protein pudding and pudding, and then I put rice cakes in it. Yeah, I'm gonna hit you up one day, and then maybe we'll film a recipe thing. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Yeah, when I pass by, I drive back and forth. So when I pass by, I'm in Brooklyn right now, but when I drive back and forth, I'll let you know. I'll hit you up. Sounds good, bro. Let me know. All right, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this up. So follow Fernando. I'm gonna link everything below. I'm gonna link everything in the podcast as well. So hit him up if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, Fernando. Thank you. No problem. Thanks for listening. Stay safe. Stay safe. Yeah. Thank you. How do you adjust? How do you adjust with the gyms closing down with this whole coronavirus? Well, before the gym started closing down, um, there was a big. It was everything was scattered. Like we weren't sure whether or not the gyms were gonna close. We weren't sure about what was gonna happen because the coronavirus was just, all of a sudden, mid-March, everything in coronavirus just spiraled out of control. Yeah. And then everything started closing down. So my boss, my mentor at Retro Fitness, the guy who do- got me my first personal training job, he told me, I don't know what, I don't know what told him to tell me this or what, it was like in his mind, he kind of like knew he needed to tell me this, yeah. but it was like, he told me, bro, get all the equipment you can because it's going to be a long one. This is going to be a bumpy ride, he pretty much told me. So I started grabbing all the equipment that I had in my garage. I had some. I had started a home gym set up when I was younger, when I was like 18 or 19, but I didn't have much money. I also didn't have enough knowledge on what I needed. So I was kind of just buying stuff that I thought I needed and kind of getting rid of stuff that I didn't need so um, everything was selling out on Dick's Sporting Goods you go to you go to freaking Facebook Marketplace or let go or whatever and everything's like selling at premiums everybody's selling everything like two or three times the price that it's worth so I had to kind of adjust to that because I needed to get weights because I didn't have everything I needed I had old I had old rusted barbells I had old freaking gold gym plates that were just sitting there collecting dust and I just used those to kind of try to sell them off and then I tried to I used that money to front for buying better equipment and upgrading my equipment so that's how I adjusted to it Uh, and I ended up creating like the almost the pretty much the perfect home gym setup I'm just waiting on a squat rack. That's the only can thing you, I'm. Can you share? Can you share a picture with us of your home gym? I can share you. Uh, there's some videos on my Instagram of like a few parts of the home gym. It's kind of like a little garage gym. It's nothing yeah. fancy. Yeah. It's just a barbell and some weights. I also have like places. But for where someone, I can... but for someone that has nothing, you know, like that, that would be like a. For good someone idea. that has nothing, for someone that has nothing, it's kind of. It's, it feels like bragging if, if I'm showing somebody who doesn't have any equipment. I know, but- For the guy who doesn't have any equipment, I would tell him just to get the resistance bands or get dumbbells. Get yourself a cheap pair of dumbbells and, and get those and, or maybe get yourself a weighted vest and start training with a weighted vest. 
doing push-ups, weighted push-ups and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. A lot of people are struggling, man, with yeah. keeping in shape. My buddy Francis, he's a power lifter. Strongest guy, strongest guy I've met in person to be honest with you guys like 20 years old 21 years old 190 pounds he squats like almost 500 pounds he deadlifts over 600 pounds almost 700 pounds yeah and he benches like 350 yeah. the gym's closed down he doesn't have a place to work out i i feel terrible for him because it it's hard man when yeah, you're used affect, to so it, much it could affect his workout routine it's not just his workout routine. It affects your whole mentality. You know what it is to have yeah, all the right. strength in the world and not be able to use it? All this aggression and, and like, a lot of people use working out as a therapy. It's a therapy for most people. That's how I've always lived my life with working out. It's been a therapy for me. It helps me get through plateaus, <laughs> different problems in my life. So, For everybody, it's a different thing, but to go from being the strongest guy in the gym to a guy who can't even work out to way the way he wants to, he has to uh, he has to freaking do push-ups, sit-ups, crunches. He's never done those things in his life, like pretty much. I mean, I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did them when he was younger, but now he's got so much muscle that his muscles need way more than that just to stay big. Yeah, just to keep him in. and to keep them in shape, yeah. you know? So, for me, the biggest adjustment was the fact that I didn't have a distraction. That was probably the best part, was that it gave me a time to focus on myself. I've always been scatterbrained, and I've always been working on other things and other people. Like, I'm very, I'm very out there with my friends and my family. If they need me to help them, I'm gonna help them if I can. Right. I'll try to call somebody or figure out a reason, a solution for their problem. But for me, I never had time to really just focus on the training and focus on the dieting by myself. I kind of just kept going with my program and was running around different jobs, guzzling protein shakes in the car bringing meals to, to work, you know? So yeah. it's like going from on the go to being at home all the time, it was a big adjustment for me. Yeah. But I'm glad that I had it because it helped me to kind of fine tune my craft and figure out what worked and what was not working. Mm-hmm. I, think, I think you did a really good job because I saw the results, so. Hopefully you could continue doing that. Even when things get kind of normal, I think at least you could mold like a structure of it. So at least you could like follow. Oh, you asked me what I was gonna do when the gyms open back up, right? Oh yeah, I did. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I've been thinking about that. Um, I love working out in the gym. It's It's been a good outlet for me. Um, I'm really enjoying the home gym, to be honest with you. I like the isolation and the fact that I can focus and nobody's going to talk to me in the middle of a set. Because I'm, I'm a person, since I'm a personal trainer and I'm kind of in shape, people will just walk up to me and they'll interrupt my workout and then they'll ask really? me questions. Yeah, I feel they'll like, ask. I feel like going to the gym, I think it motivates me personally because I see everybody else is working out. So it motivates me to work out. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like yeah. the gym gym is a setting where I would want to be because when you see other people doing it, it motivates you to do it. It can, it can, but it can also be a big distraction distraction because you have, you have your long, you have your guys on the cardio machine. I mean, on the weight machine, you're waiting for that weight. You want to work out, but that guy's hogging up the machine and he's taking soft the selfies in the mirror. So yeah. you can't get to that machine because you're waiting on him. And, you save a lot of time when you're working at home too. Like you don't have to And there's a lot of there's a lot of dudes that I know they go to the gym and it's just social hour. Yeah. It's not it's not time for them to work out. It's just time it's just a time away from their wives or whatever they're going through at work. They're just trying to get that outlet to kind of get that social aspect kind of like their own bar. Right. You know what I mean? Mhm. But, but for you, you're uh, actually like focusing for, on your for workouts. Me, 
for me, I focus on my workouts and I, I don't like taking rest. I love the intense feeling of getting that lightheaded feeling and feeling my heart beat. Because for me, to get my heart rate up is really hard because I'm in shape. Mm -hmm. So, so that means you're really that, working out. Yeah, that means that I'm really working out. But when the gyms open back up, it's going to be different. I know it's going to be different. Um, I'll probably go every once in a while just so that I can get get the get the satisfaction of working out in the gym because mm -hmm. obviously I miss it. I can't tell you I don't because yeah. I miss yeah. the looks. I miss hanging out. I miss working out with people that I don't usually work out with. Yeah. And the, and them asking me questions. It's kind of like a little kick. Yeah. Nice little. It's not a nice little change of pace, you know. It'll be different though. Like, don't go near me now. But the <laughs> whole you get thing back. is that the whole thing is you have to like reserve your spots. Yeah. Like you have to. I, I'm hearing some gyms are like, oh yeah, you have to reserve your spot for a specific part of the gym. That's crazy. Yeah, you it's see, nuts. I, I gotta send you something. They have like these plastic. Um, Yo, I'm things. hearing Burger King coming out with like crowns where you're gonna be in a little bubble, like, no. and you won't be to talk to be able to talk to anybody outside your little crowd. Get out! I'm of like, here. that's <laughs> nuts. That's insane. People are coming up, up with all these buildings. <laughs> but it's terrible because it's making everybody more introverted. Yeah, it's that's gonna true. make it's gonna make everybody be more at home, and everybody's gonna be introverted, and then nobody's gonna talk to each other. Yeah, I felt like, I we're, already already, felt like, we're already not going outside and not talking to, to, to each we're other. We're already in that age where people yeah. are anti-social and they're introverts. Yeah. Yeah. Me, I, will, I, will, I grew up in the age where you're outside, you're playing. Yeah. You're playing football, you're playing basketball, you're going to the park playing baseball, you're doing something, bro. Now people are staying home doing TikToks. <laughs> doing TikToks, playing video games. Twitching, uh, <laughs> streaming. Twitch streaming, yeah. That's crazy. Seriously, people are home playing it's games. It's a crazy world we live in, man. Nobody works yeah. out anymore, so we need you to help shape America, <laughs> to help shape, to make America healthy again. <laughs> I'll gladly do it. Seriously. No, do your online classes. I think those are really, do your do your streaming, Do I think that's very important. It's hard though, because I see a lot of these fitness people trying to do it. They're going on Bro, there's so many there's so many people answer. that do it and they get nothing. Yeah, because it's different. Like you don't you can't see the result. You're through a camera, you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. It's really different. Oh. The world changed. <laughs> yeah. And I miss that. But hopefully it'll get better. I mean things are opening up, but Yeah, I heard Cuomo said on the eighth that they're opening up New York State. Yeah, but economy. I don't think that's a smart the, idea though. The, it's too quick. It's too quick yeah. if you ask me, but I'm not the guy who's in charge. Yeah. But um, phase apparently in phase three they're opening up the gyms, and I, I know that they're doing the whole reservation where, where you can't have more than like 50 people in the gym at a time. Mm -hmm. So that'll be interesting. And then you have the whole social distancing. I'm also worried about safety when you have something like social distancing in, in a gym, because like if a guy's if a guy's on a barbell, right? Let's mm -hmm. say the guy's going for like three plates on a bench. What the hell? The guy who's supposed to save his, his life is gonna be six feet away from him? Yeah. No, you're right. Oh, and then also, uh, I'm I'm just thinking about all that like germs because people sweat. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Like, yeah, you gotta wipe before and after. I mean, I always wipe before yeah. and after anyway, just to be safe. But yeah. Still, like I'm saying, like it's gonna be weird. It is gonna be different. Let's see. It's gonna be different. Let's see. Yeah. Our next interview, our next time around, <laughs> you know, keep us updated. You know? You got it. But we got to do this again. <laughs> I agree. But Thanks last, for having let's, me let's, on. No, let's catch up the limit. So guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. If you have any questions, follow Fernando. You know, follow me. If you didn't support, support me. Support Fernando. Support everybody, you know. And hopefully, we'll see each other soon. We'll see everybody yep. soon. Hopefully. Any plans? Any plans for today? Are you doing anything later? Working out and eating. Yes, that's the way to go. <laughs> Working out, sleeping, eating, and enjoying my time with. Seriously. With my family, man. Yeah. And my dogs. That's amazing. And then we'll have Trevor come on the show next time. Yeah, definitely. He'll love that. All right. I'll see you later. All right. 
Thanks later, man. I'll, I'll text you later. All right. Thank you, man. Right, no I appreciate it. Talk to you soon. Of course. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.